<laughs> there we go. Ghost under the light. Was this the? F was okay. Part two. Was this? Was, did we already read the first part? Oh yeah, we did. They were under the whatever the street light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate the breath of the amber glow, bathing. In the distance, a blue-green light flickers. A lone figure crosses its path, a silhouette obs obstructing the eerie glow. My heart pounds, the silhouette grows closer and closer. I open my umbrella, casting a shadow to shield my me from visibility, but I am too late. He steps into the streetlight, I gasp. I drop my umbrella. The light flickers, my heart pounds, he raises his arm. Time stops. <clears throat> Excuse me. The only indication of movement is the amber light flick li flickering against his outstretched arm. The flickering light is in rhythm with the pounding of my heart. <laughs> that is a really interesting visual. Teasing me for succumbing to my forbidden to this forbidden emotion. Uh, if you ever heard of a ghost feeling warmth before Giving up on understanding, I laugh. Understanding is overrated. I touch his hand, the flickering stop. Ghosts are blue, green, my heart is amber. Interesting. Finishing the poem, I start to hand it back to Yuri, but instead of taking it from me, she looks away. Oh, that was about us. Now she's all embarrassed and stuff. Do you dislike it? Oh, no, of course not. I just don't really know how I should respond. Despite Yuri, Yuri's poems being usually cryptic, it wasn't hard to figure out what this one was about. Oh. This clearly isn't the poem that Natsuki said she wrote about. And I'm probably the only one she's showing this to. Natsuki didn't say anything to us. I don't know if I'll be able to explain this one. That's fine. I understand this one. Yuri's having an even harder time speaking than usual. Does this one mean a lot to you? She nods. I'm not really good with words, but I'm happy that you shared it with me. So thank you. And I hope we keep spending time together. Despite my inability to make eye contact, I see a faint smile on Yuri's lips. Once again, I hand the poem back to her. But instead, Yuri gives me, takes my hand and pushes them back towards me. I hesitate in response to her warm touch. You can keep this one. Once again, Yuri fails to complete a sentence. Yuri nods. I'd love to. Again, Yuri faintly smiles as if she doesn't want me to notice. You always make me feel nice. I know I'm not good with people, but I hope that I can return the favor sometimes. Yeah. Don't worry. I think you do a good job. She finally turns back towards me. I guess we should move on before Monica says something. But I'm sure we can talk again later. Oh man, they're gonna actually make me make that decision. Between walking home with Sayori or Yuri. <clears throat> Alright, Sayori. How's life? Feeling better? Hmm. It's nice, I guess. Come on, I can already tell you don't like it. Well, you don't need to worry about what I think. After all, you wrote this for just... Stop. Fly. Nerve. Probably Yuri. Eh. I didn't write this for anyone specifically. I, I really only just chose the words that I... Again, I chose bubbles. You should be all about bubbles. Well, except you're all downtrodden today, so... Your lack of bubbles is probably seeping through. It's not really what I mean, though. But it's okay. You're making new friends just like I was hoping. That makes me really happy. And you're happy too, right? In this club? Well, of course I am. Good. That's all that matters to me. Thank you. Sayori. Is there something wrong? Hmm? No, nothing. I'm just a little tired today. <laughs> Alright. Just tell me if you need anything. I will. Don't worry about me. You can go play with everyone else now. If you insist. Yay. 
I'm gonna go home a little bit early today. Sayori. Tell Monica I wasn't feeling well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Before I can say anything, I don't get to read her poem either. I have been, I have been hustled today. I got skipped over by Natsuki, but I didn't get to read the other one. That went faster than normal too. It's weird. We're all done sharing poems, right? Why don't we start figuring out? Hold on a second. Is it just me, or did you say something strange just now? Eh. Something did sound a bit unusual. Three instead of four. That's right. You deviated from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. The catchphrase. Okay, you four. It's, it's catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase. Jeez. Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Stagnating air is a common foreshadow. Oh. And I was gonna stop after this, but now they're like... In your books, maybe. Look, the only thing different is that Sayori isn't here. It seems you're right. Sigh. Sayori has always helped lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's balance has been thrown off a little when she's not around. It's like a cheetah trying to run without their tail. It doesn't end well. Where the heck did, where the heck did she run off to, anyway? I thought she just went to pee. Atsuki, please serve some decency. Oh, come on. Uh, she actually wasn't feeling too well and went home early. Is that so? Oh, she's alright. Seriously? All the times to not go home with her, you pick the time she's not feeling well. She left in the middle of the thing, though. It wouldn't be very... She told me to stay here. So just... I will fight the next person who implies relationships with anybody. First of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship. And second, she's kind of been avoiding me all day, so I didn't want to force it. Cool? A curious expression coming from Yuri, of all people. Calm down, guys. I talked to her earlier, and everything's fine. What did she say? Anyway, we need to figure out the... <laughs> nice. Played just like I would do. Just blow right through the comment. Let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. I already know what I'm doing. That's right. Atsuki will be making cupcakes. But we need a lot of them in different flavors. Can you handle that all by yourself, Natsuki? Challenge accepted. As for myself, I'm going to be printing and assembling all of the poetry pamphlets. Sayori will be helping me design them. As for Yuri... Yuri, you can... Uh, guys, you want me to come up with something for Yuri? I... I'm useless. Oh, no, no. That's not it at all. You're the most talented person here, you know? Now Natsuki's pouting, too. Even I can tell now. I guess I never gave Sayori enough credit, but I can tell things are even harder on you when she's not around. It's a hard knock life without the vice president. That may be the case, but if I can be also be a leader on my own, then I won't grow as a person. So Yuri, you have beautiful handwriting, you know? So I want you to make some banners and decorations to help set the class or the atmosphere. Atmosphere, yeah, it's like building your environments in the wow I'm, it's like creating the environment of your books and whatnot i'm about that hi i love atmosphere <laughs> there you go nice bait and switch there your mind is already racing i see that's great it'll be wonderful help yuri but anyway that just leaves you the one who is truly useless <laughs> don't say that in fact both Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. It would probably go a long way to give one of them a hand. You can always help me out as well. I would be really appreciative of that. That's Monica suggesting it. Yeah. Uh. All right. All right. Sorry about the constant choppiness of these past couple of minutes here. I've just caused some weird 
I accidentally clicked off of my game, and it totally stopped the recording. Not cool. Don't like it, but that's what happened. So, and I went on for like another two minutes, or three minutes, without realizing that. But, it was pretty much only into... I'm just gonna keep going. First, I chose Monica. And then, this whole thing happens, and this cool song starts playing. Hold on, one second. Yeah. You're the one who needs the least help out of all of us. Eh, but I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work probably already the most suitable for one person, but you already have Sayori as well. But he was the f Ah. That doesn't matter. You're the one who scared him into picking you in the first place. You're the club president. You're supposed to make responsible decisions for the club. You shouldn't let ulterior motives interfere with this decision. Ulterior motives? Pot Kettle Black. What are you saying, Yuri? In fact, it sounds like you guys are the ones with ulterior motives. Excuse me? You just want to make me feel bad. Otherwise, this wouldn't have been... Like, this song is a weird mix of, like... A f it sounds very inspired by Banjo and Kazooie, and I think I said that once about another song that I heard. Unless it was the same one, and I'm just forgetting because the, la the first time I played this was a week ago. The first bit I played was like a week ago. Otherwise, this wouldn't have been made into such a big deal in the first place. That's completely false. Yeah. We all have a lot of work to do, you know. We won't do as good of a job if you make us work alone. Ah, uh, maybe that's true. Think of the club, Monica. If you want our event to succeed, then we need to appropriately distribute our resources. Um, ah. So you're going to do the right thing, President? Oh. Oh, that sucks. They just pretty much hassled her into making her agree with them. I get it. Sigh. It's technically most logical for Hunter to help one of you two. So, I guess that's what we'll do. So I guess choosing Sayori would result in the same thing, so Natsuki just wants to make me a mule for grabbing stuff. And she already hates me. Are you serious? Why would you... Because you just want to make me feel bad. I can already tell you're about to say something mean. N no I was just saying... Er... You'll be fine helping Yuri then, Hunter. Yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm glad. I have a bad habit of overthinking these sort of things. So I think your assistance will be very useful. That's great to hear. Matsuki, you'll be able to handle the baking yourself. I mean, yeah. I already said I would be fine. Okay, okay. Everyone can tell that Natsuki is feeling a little sour. What else is new? So that's everything we need to go over? Yeah, that should be about it. Are you guys excited? Well, excited not, might not be the right word. But I suppose I'm looking forward to it a little bit. Do you feel the same way? Me? Ah, uh, I guess you could say I'm interested to see how it will turn out. It's good enough for me. What about you, Natsuki? Natsuki? What? Why is everyone yelling at me? I didn't even do anything. No. That's not what I meant at all. Ah. Uh, anxiously glances between everyone in the room. I'm sorry for this. I don't really know why you picked me. And also, your cupcakes are the best cupcakes I've ever had. They go really well with my tea. And nothing I do will compare to that, so... I get it, I get it. Kinda surprised, though. Why? Um... Well, I'm the one acting immature. I already know that. There you go. Yeah, don't give in to her. If you're trying to cheer me up all of a sudden, I'm not very good at it. I'm sorry if I said something bad. She isn't the only one surprised. Monica and I are also taken aback. Do not surrender my... Do not surrender my help over to her, though. Far out of her comfort zone. But I begin to understand, Yuri was trying to sound like Sayori. Even if it didn't work perfectly, I can tell that what she tried to say what Sayori would say at a time like this. Because Sayori would always help everyone smile and feel good about themselves. No. 
I kind of appreciated it. I'm sorry for making a big deal out of nothing. But I'm going to say this. You better be bet that my cupcakes are going to be the best part of the whole event. Ah, uh, I believe you. Yeah. I hope to see everyone do their best. I did my best. But with that, there's nothing more for today. So I guess it's time for us to head out. Alright, let's get out of here then. Everyone packs up their things. I start to follow Monica and Natsuki. With the doors they chat with- um. Eh. I turn around. Sorry. I realize that I don't have a way of contacting you this weekend. Oh, you're right. I can't believe that slipped my mind. Should I give you my phone number? I think that would be the best way, yes. Alright then. Yuri and I exchange phone numbers. Okay. Then I'll be stopping by your house on Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Eh? My house? Is that a problem? No, not at all. I just thought I would be the one going to your house, since I'm helping you. I suppose that makes sense. But if you don't mind, I think I would prefer going to your house. Alright. In that case, it won't be a problem. I decide not to press Yuri for a reason. It's not like it should matter much either way, so I just need to make sure my room is clean. I hope I managed to make myself useful in some way. I'm not nearly as creative as you are. Don't underestimate yourself. I think we'll make a very productive team. Even if you only chose me because you felt bad or something. Ouch. Okay, I, I chose you because I did not want Natsuki to make me feel like a slave. Wait, you don't actually think that, do you? I don't know. It's difficult to come up with any other reason you would have chosen me. You're forgetting the one with the most common sense. I chose to help you because that's what I want to do. But Yuri thinks of herself with, to herself with an extremely tense expression. Yuri, you're overthinking this. You wanted me to point out when you're overthinking, right? Eh. I didn't realize. I'm telling you I want to. That's all there is to it. Do you believe me? I thinks really hard again. She looks straight into my eyes for a long while. I believe you. As if it took her tremendous effort, she finally relaxes and her exp er, finally relaxes her expression. But I'm looking forward to Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. I am too. I can't believe this. Yuri is going to be coming to my house Sunday. My anxiety shoots through the roof, even though I've gotten pretty used to handling her at this point. There's no telling what I might end up happening while we're outside of school. Oh man. Focus. She told me she was looking forward to it. I have the chance to make something happen between us. Or is it too early for that? Only time will tell, but until then I won't be able to take my mind off of it. I seriously can't wait. It's already Sunday. Do I still want to keep going? I've been getting increasingly anxious about Yuri's upcoming- I'm going to. God, this is getting stupid. I keep telling myself that there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. Yuri is clearly an introvert, and it also makes it- an, and also an intimate person in general. There's no doubt she'll open up for a bit when it's just the two of us. Meanwhile, we've been texting occasionally. She was extremely apprehensive at first, but it wasn't long before I started learning more about her. But putting Yuri aside, I haven't heard a thing from Sayori since the day she left the club early the other day. It's not like we text each other all the time or anything, but I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. Between what Sayori said and what Monica said, is it really okay to put me... For to put Sayori's feelings aside when she might need me? I, oh, that popped up. Man, I thought that popped up outside of my game window. I decide to visit Sayori before Yuri comes over. Rather than asking, I simply tell her I'm coming over, much like we've done in the past. Once I reach Sayori's house, I knock on the door before entering it myself. Again, we used to play so often that I made a habit of simply entering each other's houses. Like we were family. The house is quiet. She isn't anywhere on the first floor, so I assume she's up in her room. It's already strange of her not to run down and greet me. I head up to her bedroom when I finally find her. Sayori? 
Oh, hey. 